Hey guys, how you doing? It's Brad with atrepodcast.com, all things real estate. Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what to do when you're not really sure what to do. When you really want to get leads, you want to become successful, you want to just get out there and kill it, but you're like, wait, what do I do? How do I start? Where do I go? Well, what I normally do is I start calling everybody I know, right? Just call everybody you know and have a reason for calling them, you know, such as, hey, um, I'm doing a donation for the YMCA, or I'm doing a donation for the homeless, or I'm doing a turkey drive to feed the homeless. Um, would, you, would you be interested? Do you have any blankets? Um, anything, but really make sure you're doing that cause, and then see if they want to get involved. And while you're talking to them and get to, getting to know them a little bit more, and, and uh, maybe you know them really well, and you're just kind of catching up, Talk to them about real estate. See how they're doing, what their thoughts are. Maybe they have a referral for you. Maybe they're thinking about buying or selling. Um, some questions that you can ask them, you know, is, hey, how are you? How have you been? I've been thinking about you. So I just wanted to call you and say hello. How's your work life? How's things going at work? How's the kids? How's your summer going, right? Any big plans this year? Any big trips this year? What are you doing? What's going on? Maybe they're going to tell you, ask them if they've done any home improvements and what they've been doing and if they're happy, how's life. As you're talking to them and you're just kind of being their friend and just catching up, they're going, to, they're going to open up to you and tell you a little bit more. And you might want to say to them, hey, look, do you have any friends or family that are interested in selling? Because, you know, this is what I do and I'm really good at it, as you know, because I sold you a house or can't wait to sell you a house. Remember we were talking at that party about the house we were selling. Hey, by the way, how's your aunt Martha? I know she was sick. Hey, COVID's been tough, right? How are you doing during COVID? Are you doing okay? Ask those kind of questions. Get to know people and just be as genuine and as authentic as possible. You know, be subtle when you're talking to them. Ask them how their kids are. Ask them how their parents are, their dogs and you know, like we said, their job is going. Sometimes people, maybe maybe you will uh, remember from your notes, you should be putting everything in your notes that they were having a tough time at jaw, their job, or maybe you remember that they got a promotion. So when you're talking to these people, let's say you spoke to Brad Roth, you'd put in your uh, CRM, your contact management system, spoke to Brad Roth, the date, and then you'll talk about, you'll, you'll write in the notes about what you spoke to Brad about, and then before you're going to put in a call to action to call them next time or to send them a letter. But the next time that you go on to call Brad again, you're going to read your notes and you're going to be able to have another conversation piece or something to talk to them about, which is really great, right? So you, you're doing all that and you make sure you're keeping good notes. And when you're doing that, and you're building your sphere of influence, right? Then what you wanna do is start visiting all of the places that maybe you give business to. So for instance, maybe you used to work at a car dealership or maybe you used to work at Chevron, wherever. Go in there and say hi to the workers there, the, the employees that maybe you know. So I used to sell cars 25 years ago. I still go into that same car dealership I'll bring them pens. So I'll bring them my promotional items. And car salesmen are great because A, they make a pretty good living. They end up buying from you. Uh, if you give them a pen or 20 pens, I let them take as many as they want. Uh, lots of time your pens are floating around the dealership. Uh, your name gets brought up a lot more than you think. People take your pens home that aren't even your clients. And if they sell a, a car with your pen, now that's their lucky pen and there we can't wait to get more lucky pens so it really works out and it's great just to be able to go in and talk to them now when you're talking to these people either on the phone or if you're talking to them uh in person find out their kids names their birthdays their kids birthdays um you might want to send a handwritten personalized card to them every birthday. Say, hey, how are you? It's, it was great seeing you, um, you know, last week, whatever. Um, 
thanks for thanks for uh, you know taking the time to talk to me. Every so every time you talk to a client, you send a personalized handwritten note. Then also on their birthdays, you can send them or their kids or whoever's birthday information you have. Send them a handwritten birthday card and maybe slip in like an ice cream parlor, maybe Cold Stone or something, a ten dollar you know, gift certificate or a $5, whatever it is for an ice cream cone nowadays and uh, buy them an ice cream. It's always a nice treat. doesn't cost a lot of money and people really enjoy it. But that's something that I've done through the years and found it to be pretty successful. But those are gold. Being able to find out when someone's birthday is and put it into the notes is gold. I can't tell you the amount of times I've been in escrow with someone and it's been their birthday and I didn't know it especially at the beginning of my career, I was so embarrassed. So I made a point, whenever I start a new deal or a new transaction, I always ask everyone, can I get you your wife's birthday, your kid's birthdays? Because I want to know, I want to be able to celebrate with them. You know, so that's, that's really, really important. So go to, again, when you're going to start out, you're going to start making calls. Uh, you're going to call as many people as you can that you know. Go to Facebook, start sending out private messages to people just saying, hey, I'm in real estate. just wanted to say hi. Hope you're doing well. Start posting as many positive things as you can. Let people know that you're the person. You're the one to go to when they're ready to buy or sell a home. And that if they're not ready to buy or sell, but they maybe just need some advice, you're there. You don't take a day off. You're always working, right? Let them know how important that they are to you. So again, I know that you're going to kill it. I know that you're going to do fantastic. We just need to find a strategy that works well for you. Those are really good, easy strategies to get started though. That, and that is, let's go over it again, okay? One is call people you know and just say, hi, how are you? Take really good notes, put it in your contact management system for your sphere of influence, okay? Two, Go to places that you know, people that you see, church, temple, car dealerships, cleaners, wherever. Just talk to everybody everywhere. Get their information. Go back, put it in your contact management system, sphere of influence, right? Three, go to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever. Instant message people. Let them know that you're thinking of them. You hope they're doing well. Also, put out positive information good information, things that make people say you're the one that they want to learn from. That's the most important. All right, guys, it was great seeing you today. Remember, you can view my YouTube at ATRE podcast on YouTube, my YouTube channel. It's great. You can also go to my website, atrepodcast.com and download my five free secrets on how to start becoming successful and making money in real estate today. I really, really look forward to working with you. And I look forward to uh, many more years of you enjoying my podcasts. Thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.